in action. Yes. Another story here. I've always been depressed. I, uh, I had real bad teeth. And there was a black dentist in town who tried to fill my teeth or pull them or try to straighten it. I had to get a partial plate and the partial plate would hook around teeth and put, cause bigger holes in my teeth. Mm. I cried a lot, a lot. And mom gave me aspirin to put it on my teeth. Well, she took other pills too. And I'd get a whole little pill and take those. How well, old were you when you were taking pills? Eight uh, is what you told me one time. Well, I don't remember for sure. Okay, sorry. But I was a prostitute mm. when I was 14 and a pimp, I pimp ladies. Oh boy, never knew One this. thing I did was uh, when I worked at McDonald's, that was one of my, McDonald's restaurant, that was one of my favorite, one of my first jobs. I would uh, work at the cash register and the boys, some of my boys from the, from the school from the, came into McDonald's and I'd give them cash money out of the uh, register. They called her, I did that a couple of times. They called her on them like register draw was short so they let me go. Now, I, I, I'm a good woman now. I don't say anything unless it's the truth. And I don't lie, see, cheat, cheat, steal, none of that. But, um, I, um, I can't think. There's so much I want to tell you. It just kind of all runs together. And it's really not in any order. But the, the, bait, the first baby that I had could have been by a young man who was three years older than me. He, he asked me for sex, and I wouldn't do it. So he said, I'll go around the corner and get Sabrina. She'll do it. So I gave in. I could have got pregnant by him. But it was probably by another man or men. I, I don't know for sure. When I found out that I was missing my menses, I'd uh, take a bunch of pills and bring it down. Mm. You know, I tried to commit suicide once too. After my mom died, I went to a funeral in Texas. And when I got back home in Springdale, I took a lot of pills. All they did was intoxicate me. They didn't have to pump my stomach or anything. But that was a very sad time for me. I thought that since I hadn't gone to see my mother more, mm -hmm. it was my fault that she died. And I, I, I just didn't know what I was doing. I am accident prone. I fell one night coming back to the bathroom. My cat was on the bed. I tried to avoid laying on her and I banged into a brick wall. And another time, I have a fractured shoulder and a fractured hip, so I'm pretty well messed up. I can't see, can't stand up, can't walk. Please find me. I need a mini, I need a wheelchair accessible truck, um, sit to stand, a uh, ramp, and a um, parallel bars. I need these things. Please help me. Please help me. Go fund me. Send dead presidents. Some of you here are sending dead presidents. I thank you very much. I want to keep talking to you every day that I can. And I want to tell you a lot of stories that you won't believe. But like I say, I don't say anything unless it's true. Talk to you later. God bless you. <laughs>